good evening uh, whatever time you are watching this from i welcome you to my youtube channel this is me jamie naftali on the pediatric world so this channel is all about kids welfare we want to create the awareness on uh, what really happens to these children while growing up the common illnesses we want to create the awareness to the mothers because they are the key caregivers here so stay tuned and in today's episode we are continuing on treatment of acute severe acute malnutrition the malnutrition in children so remember we said while treating malnutrition uh, we use 10 steps 10 steps in treatment of malnutrition and so far we've done five steps please i refer you to the previous episodes if you have not watched so today we are starting with the sixth step the sixth step while treating malnutrition what do we look for what do we treat what do we want to to do as number step number six so another uh number six step is something we call micronutrients we want to add micronutrients into these children that have severe acute malnutrition and these are required in small amounts and this is uh can be given in five meals per day once daily so what are these micronutrients that we are talking about here which micronutrients do these children with severe acute malnutrition need to be supplemented with? So number one, uh, we have something we call folic acid. Folic acid, very, very important. We give at a dose of 5 mg start and then later you can give 2.5 mg. That is number one micronutrient. The, another micronutrient is something we call zinc. I'm sure you are familiar with zinc sulfate, commonly given uh, in children with uh, diarrhea and vomiting. So my, uh, zinc is a micronutrient and its purpose is to restore, to restore the, mucol, the mucosa lining, the gut mucosa, it restores it. That is why we always give zinc sulfate in children with uh, diarrhea and vomiting. Remember, we said these children with severe acute malnutrition present with diarrhea and vomiting. So this is why we want to supplement with zinc to restore back the, uh, the gut mucosa, the lining of the, of the gut mucosa. Another micronutrient we need to supplement in these children is another one we call iron. The iron, this is to add on uh, the blood levels. So iron is given. But with caution, we only give iron when the return of appetite is there. Only when we only give until the return of appetite. Remember when we were doing a, a presentation of children with severe acute malnutrition, we said they lack appetite, they lack appetite, they don't have appetite for food at all. So then we give iron only when the appetite has come back. I hope this is clear because it's very, very important. Another micronutrient you want to supplement in a severe acute malnutrition is vitamin A. Somewhere we mentioned and said that vitamin A deficiency, if you don't have enough vitamin A, it will worsen the uh, malnutrition in children. So we need to supplement this vitamin A. What is the dose? The dose is per age of the child and those children that are below six months, we give vitamin A at a dose of 50,000 international units. We measure in international units. So children below six months, we give at 50,000 international units. Children between six months to one year, we give at a dose of uh, 100,000 international units. And if the child is uh, bigger, if the child is above one year, we want to give at a dose of 200,000 international units. So this is the dosage of the vitamin A. And if we have eye signs, remember we said the eye signs, and these are involved corneal ulceration. This we know that they are eye signs. What do we do? We give vitamin A at day one. That is that day that the child is 
has been noticed with those corneal ulceration. We give at day one, at day two, and also at day 14. And the dosage is what we have said according to the age of the child. So we say it is, uh, malnutrition is worsened by vitamin A deficiency. So we don't want to have this deficit of the vitamin A. So that is it in step number six in treatment of malnutrition are micronutrients and we have mentioned all of them and why we give each and every one of them so then let's proceed to step number seven when treating malnutrition this we call initial feeding step number seven we want to feed these children with uh, malnutrition how do we go about feeding these children um, we start with our initial feed that is where we are saying initial feeding what do we start with we give something we call F75. What is F75? F75 provides 75 kilocalories and it also has 0 0.9 grams per kg per body weight of proteins. Remember when we were defining malnutrition, we said this is a uh, low levels of carbohydrates and also the protein. So we want to add these feeds that contain the protein. We want to give extra proteins and also uh, the calories, the carbohydrates. So this is our initial feed, the F75. And when giving this, uh, edema is something we need to take into consideration when you are giving F75. Why? Because if the child... Uh, if the child has got edema, we are going to give F75 at a dose of 100 milligrams per kg per body weight. So if a child has edema, we give 100 milligrams per kg per body weight per day of F75. If there is no edema, we want to give more. If there is no edema, we want to give 130 milligrams per kg, 130 milligrams per kg per body weight per day so and this 130 again we it consists of 130 130 kilo calories per kg yes and also uh we have more proteins of 2.9 grams uh per per body weight so this is what is contained so we are going to give uh 130 again in of f75 if we don't have edema if there's edema we say it's a hundred milligrams per body weight uh, per per day hope this is clear uh so after this we record the amount we want to see where we are record the amount that that this child is able to feed the amount of f75 record the leftovers is this child able to take until we have the leftovers so we should record all this Record the episodes of uh, diarrhea. So we need to know, we, do we have, are we giving and again we are having diarrhea? We are getting it out all of it. We need to record all those. It's very important. The amounts taken, what the child is able to tolerate. We want to record the leftovers. This amount we are to give, but the ch this is what was left. Any episodes of diarrhea, we also want to record. We also want to take weight. So the weight is what will tell us if we are gaining or not. Um, mostly, if the child is well, one to two days, the appetite will have improved. So this one is the one again, the weight and the appetite is what is going to tell us if we are somewhere, if the child is improving. The appetite will come back in one to two days of giving the F75, our initial feed, our initial feed, and also weighing this child. I hope this is clear. So these are the two steps. The step number six, the micronutrients supplement. We also say about the initial feed, which we are saying the first one, the first feed we give is F75. And we are saying it contains proteins and also it has um, carbohydrates, the kilocalories. So that's why we want to add to this uh, children's body. So I hope this is very, very clear. This is it. I'm going to move slowly so that people can understand. So we are now up to step number seven. Up to step number seven. Remember, we are doing the 10 steps. 
in treatment of severe acute malnutrition in children. So hope this is clear. Thank you for staying tuned. If you have any question concerning this topic malnutrition, pin it down in the comment section. Also in my email, thank you so much for the feedbacks I'm getting in the email. Uh, my email is provided at the end of every video, so you can uh, ask any question there. Uh, so, thank you so much. If you're that returning subscriber, please subscribe so that you may become part of this wonderful family. The main aim here, the main aim of this channel is to have healthy babies. We also want to improve the quality, their quality of life. And this is by creating this awareness to everybody. Everybody is involved into the management of these children. Turn on your notifications so that you are among the first people to know every time I post a new video here. Thank you so much. Till next time.